when you're talking to an audience and you're connecting with an audience, you find that that audience is listening for what's in it for me. The information that's going to impact their lives. It's the same for presentations, for sales, for motivation and in leadership. If you can give people what they're looking for, they'll be very attentive. To run a volunteer organisation, it's essential that you can really meet people's needs, be aware of what they need. In sales there's a saying, you sell people what they want and you give them what they need. So take the four wheel drive advertisements. There's a couple running at the moment. One's a mother and daughter jump into the four wheel drive and head out into the bush and go riding their bikes in the bush. The others, a family jumping in the four wheel drive. What are we doing this weekend? Same as always. And you see them sitting around a campfire out having a good time. They're selling the experience, the emotional connection, the emotional uh, outcome, the good time. They're not selling the vehicle. The vehicle is what gets you. It's the, the feature that gets you to the good time. So rather than sell the vehicle saying it's this colour, this is this size and everything else, all the bits and pieces out about it, they sell you how it's going to change your life. The beer commercials are exactly the same. They have people having a great time, having a party, music, song, dancing. They're not selling the actual beer, they're selling what the beer allows you to do. It all comes back to what are your features, what are your benefits. As humans, there's a series of probably six, eight, ten, perhaps twenty uh, benefits that they look for. But if we run through just a few of the benefits, saving time. People want to save time. That's how the gadget uh, people and the TV infomercials. This makes it so quick to do this. Save time doing that. They're using the benefit of saving time to market their product. Save money. Shopping at those supermarkets send out their discounts every week. You can save money by coming to us. They're not saying, we've got a beautiful store and all our products are in neat rows. They're saying, you can save money. Or make money. You've got the financial planners and things who'll be saying, yes, I can make you rich over time. And you've got all the schemes that come in through your emails saying, we can double your money overnight. They're trying to lure you in to a product by giving you a huge benefit and stop you looking at the features. Avoid effort is another benefit which a lot of the technology really targets. You'll save time doing this. You can do three things at once with this app. So and also find success. Education. What do they sell? Do they sell the hard work getting your degree? Or do they sell the people throwing the hats in the air at, on graduation day and going to a great job? Health is a huge one. Being pain free. You'll find the doctors and all the health products are marketed. Uh, they market their benefits of you living a healthy life. 
being safe and secure and having certainty. Your insurance companies, insure yourself against death, insure yourself against this, that and the other, and you'll be safe. They don't tell you about the fire, they tell you about that you're going to be safe. Live and love. Sex sells. Look, you've got Tinder, you've got a, a hundred and one things where people use a beautiful looking woman to sell it. So it's something that people just look at and say, wow. Increase in happiness. Holidays and clothes. They show you looking really great in clothes, a model looking great in clothes, or you a holiday destination where everybody's having fun. Fulfillment for personal growth. And this is this you, you find is a lot of the education and the self-development self-development why are you watching this video because you want to get better you want self-development you want personal growth with confidence education and training will always push the confidence angle and freedom travel once again get rich quick schemes and things like that when you look at the features, they are not usually memorable. Sometimes they are, but not usually. You use the features to reinforce your benefits. So it might be that when the, the four wheel drive takes you to the place where you um, get there and you might have almost got bogged before you got there and it will have this it's got its four-wheel drive and it's got its limited slip diff and, and other things that let you get through there. So they use the, the features to reinforce the benefit. You'll always get through with our four-wheel drive. But always use the benefits first, not the features. The features reinforce the benefits, not the other way around. So now we come to your challenge. Now I want you to sit down, if you've got a business, to write down what are the benefits of your business. What does your business do for your customer? What makes your customer feel warm and fuzzy when they think about your business? And look about the features as well. So it's really, um, a matter of getting clear in your mind of what features and benefits are and write them down and also before you do any sort of uh, presentation or sales spiel remember you do not sell them what they want you give them what they need I'll catch you tomorrow for day five.